Public transportation in Thailand is a lot easier than you think. We're going to show you how to get from the airport to anywhere you want to go in Bangkok without getting scammed. We're Cindy and Eddie, and this is Squeeze the Day. And we want to be the first to welcome you to Thailand. If you've never been to Bangkok, Thailand, you may get overwhelmed by how complicated the transit system is and getting from the airport to anywhere in Bangkok. There are lots of ways to get into Bangkok. We're gonna show you why we prefer the rail system over any other method. First thing to note is you're gonna be coming down from the arrival area, which is down this little ramp. If you turn into this direction, you've got public taxis, and let's show you how to do that real quick in case that's what you prefer. The first time we came to Thailand, this is what we did. There's a couple of options, short distance, regular taxi, or if you need a large taxi for a lot of people. And yes, they do have handicap access available. After you've picked the line that you need to take, simply use the kiosk that you need to use in order to get the size of taxi that you need. And the taxis will be lined up right here. They're gonna give you a number and you just go to the corresponding number of the parking space that's available. That is a fast and fairly easy way to get to your destination because it'll take you right there. But we've ran into a couple of problems with the taxis. We'll tell you about that at the end of this video. Now let's talk about a second method which is private auto. To get there we're going to continue to go down some more escalators or rather the escalating ramps. Coming down the mobile walkway just two hard lefts and continue in this direction towards the airport rail link and airport hotel. Here, you've got a couple of options. The first option is the city line and that's your immediate right. They even have another ramp going down towards the city line entrance. Once again, if you have bags, you can take the moving walkway. If you do need help, the gentleman here will give you information like he's helping these guys out here. He'll also direct you to a private car and it costs 900 baht for a private vehicle to take you directly to your hotel. They also have currency exchange, coffees, and luggage storage down this way if you're interested in any of that, and that's in the direction of the hotel. So it's easy to find. But this is what you're gonna wanna look for. Go down the ramp and steer just to the left of that entrance. So these machines will give you a token that will allow you to enter and then exit the train. It's real easy to get to you, the destinations that you wanna go. They even have an English button. And now everything's in English. You're gonna start here, that's the airport. Hit the English in the top right hand corner. It shows you the options in English. We are going to Makassan because that's gonna be our connector. Now we want two people and that's going to be the price, 70 baht for two people to get to Makassan. That's the first leg of the journey that we're taking. Once you put your money in there, whether it be card, cash, or coin, change is distributed there, tokens are distributed there. That's the first time I've seen a yellow token. We're actually going to take you to Chinatown for two reasons. One, because that's going to be our next video. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you can find out what that looks like coming up real soon. The second reason is because this line doesn't go where we want it to go. It starts off here at the airport and then we follow it into Bangkok, but it ends there. There are other lines that we're gonna to take to get around Bangkok, and we wanna eventually end up in Chinatown, which is over here. To get through, just tap your token and walk through. Super easy. I'm gonna do the same, and here we go. Once you come through there, just walk over to here and go down to the train. It's only going in one direction, so just follow it to the station you're going to. They also have signs to help you find your way. Not only is it in Thai, it's in English. Just join the crowd and wait for your train. They might make you wait a minute while they clean the train. That's a good thing. Just have a seat and enjoy the ride. But don't worry about figuring out which stop is gonna be yours. They actually have everything in English, so it's really easy to figure out where your stop's gonna be. That just said in English first, welcome to the city line. The train starts at A1 and it goes to A8. Our stop is gonna be A6. We'll show you what that looks like. There are a couple of hubs around the city where these lines interconnect. And those are gonna be your key to getting around the city. So once you know them, then you'll be able to know how to transfer and where to transfer. Passengers are reminded that eating or drinking is not permitted.
Station, Makasan Station. Passengers can connect to SRT Eastern Line and MRT from this station. Exit this way. These are real simple to figure out how to do. All you're going to do is drop them in the slot. That'll open up and let you out. Now we're going to take the walkway to get to the next station so we can continue our way to Chinatown. It's very easy, we'll show you the route. See how it says Skywalk to MRT? Something to note about the MRT is it actually encircles the city of Bangkok. So it's one of the most convenient ways to get to most of the city. So this is a very popular stop. Everybody's going down that ramp, which is a Skywalk. If you're hungry, you can always stop, go downstairs and grab a quick bite to eat. They have a lot of good options. We also discovered this little market not too long ago. Follow the directions to the MRT, down the escalator. That's the sign you're looking for. Go down the escalator to the MRT. Go through the security checkpoint. Once you're through, just keep going down. You'll get your tickets below. Over the course of the month that we've been here, we've used the train frequently and learned a few things along the way. We're gonna share those with you right now before we close out this video. That's how you know what direction the train is going. It actually tells you one after the other. So it'll be going in this direction. If we wanted to go to one of these stations, that'd be the direction we wanna go. If we went into the other train, the other train will be leaving here and going in this direction. You can see that by looking at those names. We're here, G2. We're gonna take this line, get on the blue line and then swing around this way. Different trains are going to be on different levels. Some will be underground, some will be above ground, and some will be elevated. Also be aware that you're not always going to get tokens. Sometimes you get little cards. It's helpful to know the end station so you know which direction you need to go. For example, National Station is the end station that we are currently going to. So if you see a sign that says to National, that's where you want to go if you're going in that direction. If you happen to get on the train going in the wrong direction, well, we did that. So now we've got to go back, get on the other side of the tracks and go in the opposite direction. Then we lost about 15 minutes. Five. Oh. Maybe five. Only lost about five minutes, which might have been a little less had it not been for <laughs> us goofing around just a little bit too much. Having too much fun till we actually noticed. One little mistake like that really doesn't throw us off. Doesn't it's, hamper our day at all. It's part of the adventure. As is typical with us, we like to make the best of a bad situation. What we're going to do while we're here waiting for the train, which is going to be here in like two minutes. Yeah, the funny thing is we stepped off the train right at the Victory Monument. So let's get a picture for you. Check this out. That is Victory Monument. We're not going to leave the station because we can't. We're literally not allowed to leave the station here with the tickets we have. We'd have to pay again. But that's Victory Monument. That's our train. Let's get going. We got off at the Wat Man Kong train station. It's that easy. We hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask any of the security or personnel working in the station. They're always happy to help them. Most of them speak English. Today we went from the airport, took the red line to here, and then followed this over to Wat Man Kong, which is about the center area of where Chinatown is. Other options to help you get throughout the city are pretty easy. You can get off at different stations and they tell you along the way how to get from point to point, making this one of the best ways to get around Bangkok. Now let's tell you why we prefer this method to any other method in town. Here's what happened when we first arrived in Bangkok. We were at the airport and we went to ask for a little bit of information about how to take the train. We talked to the gentleman that was an information guy and he pointed us in the direction of the 900 baht VIP car that would have taken us to our hotel. We didn't want to pay that much. It looked like the VIP cars were geared more towards larger groups. They were vehicles that had a lot of space and more luxury for a higher price. If you're traveling with six to eight people, 
that is the way to go because it's more economical for a group. We decided we wanted to go upstairs to find out how much the taxis cost. We were figuring they'd be a little bit cheaper and they were a little bit cheaper. We went up to the taxi area, got our tickets, found the taxi, found out how much it would cost and decided that was a good price. All the taxis are metered. You don't pay right away. You pay once you get to your destination. We figured that would probably be the best way to go. We just took our taxi and started going. Well, here's where the problem started. Not only did he not know where to go, he kept asking, how do you get there? We showed him on the map exactly where it was at. He didn't go that direction. He took the longest route and we were watching on the map that he was taking the longest route. We had to continuously correct him to go a faster route. He passed the turn that he needed to make in order to get to our hotel. So he had to U-turn and go back around and it was just a whole disaster. But all this was metered and so he was making money on it. Then when we got to our destination, finally, after a lot of turn here, stop, turn here, go this way. Then as soon as we got out, he quickly reached up and turned off the meter, jumped out, started pulling out our luggage. We had been watching to see how much the amount was going to end up to be. And we saw that it was 275 baht, which we thought was a really good price. After all of our luggage was out and he had us ready to get going, he told us that it was 450 baht, which was almost 200 baht more than what it actually said on the meter. So the total cost for us to get to a location like this would have been about 140 baht for both of us, just taking the train. Basically why we've been taking the train everywhere you can also take the boats that go from spot to spot. They're a really good price too and tie in really well with the train, making this a lot easier. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. And stay tuned as we continue to travel around Bangkok and the rest of the world. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.